Hey everyone, Zach Moore here. I just wanted to do something that I have never, I have never done before, and that I wish I would have had when I first began composing music. When I first began composing music back in 2009, I would constantly be emailing composers, asking them, how did you get to where you are? How did you become a big deal and all those things like that, and which at, looking back now are pretty shallow questions to ask and, and aren't the right questions to ask. And at the time, I, I, w- I really wished I could have watched composers compose and to hear their process behind things and how they did certain things. So that's what I'm going to do but about my writing. And, and my way isn't necessarily the right way. It's just how I've done things over the last 13 years now, I think. And, and I wanted to just give you that insight from beginning of a piece, the genesis of a piece, all the way through the bits and pieces of writing that and to the finished product of getting a performance type of thing like that as well. This piece of music is a piece that I'm simply just writing for myself. That doesn't happen very often anymore. It feels so good to do that. I'm also writing my text to my own text to this choral composition as well. And typically, I don't do that as well either. So let's let's start from the beginning here, okay? So oftentimes. My inspiration of a piece of music comes at random moments, but the moments happen as a result of me living my life and not being too sheltered with my life. That makes somewhat sense of going out and just being with friends, laughing, enjoying what's around me and and looking at the world as a, an artist, almost as a painter and enjoying the colors and everything around me. Just things that inspire me are what allows me to write music the way I write music. In this particular moment, uh, it was about a month and a half ago, I want to say, or maybe a month ago, and it was like the first nice day of spring, and I was sitting out on the porch for the first time that I could ever do that because it wasn't frigid outside. And it was amidst the pandemic and everything was shut down, and we had been inside for quite some time already, And then the most beautiful thing kind of happened, and it's kind of an average thing that a lot of people see, but because I hadn't seen it in a while, it it caused me to go into a deep state of analysis, I'd say, and nostalgia as well, and and my own memories as it being a... And and what that thing was, was I, I heard children laughing and playing outside, and it, there was something about their carelessness, and I mean that in the best way possible, their innocence and their authentic joy that they were sharing with each other amidst a time where we were all apart and separated, that they didn't have a care in the world. And, and I started thinking about my time as a child and my own memories of playing in the woods and building forts and playing games of ball tag with all the neighborhood kids and just how carefree that time was and and how I wish I would have realized when I was younger the absolute value of that time. And I know not everyone gets those childhoods. I'm lucky to have that as a childhood that I did. But the time that that a lot of children get is just taken for granted, unfortunately. And I, so often we want to just, you want to get to that being an adult and we, we dream about what we want to be when we're older. And it's never about what is happening now and enjoying that moment. And so I was kind of sitting there and, and, and you know, amongst the laughter, feeling the breeze and the breeze was warm, but there were moments of coolness in the breeze as well. And, and I started thinking about the irony of that and how, you know, them playing 
is a very warm memory and something they're going to look back at. But amongst all that, do they notice the coolness of, of what is to come? Do they feel that, that this is a special time that when they get older, things like that are, are going to happen to them less and less until they eventually maybe have kids and they live kind of through their kids, perhaps. But even so, it's never quite the same. And uh, I started to think about my own childhood and um, and my life there. And and as their laughter was happening, these my memories were almost brought to life through their laughter. And it felt as if my friends of my past, all the good memories that I had, my stories that I remember were brought to life if I just closed my eyes and listened. It felt like I was there because of their laughter. And that's kind of where this idea came from. All in the same moment, I'd say, uh, the music came to me as well. And that happens quite often, I feel like, for moments that I'm that I'm really feeling and connecting to. If sometimes I'm reading a poem and the poem will just sing to me. Sometimes I can just hear an idea in my mind and, I, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? I got to figure it out on the piano. And in this moment, it was all those things and the spring breeze and just vibing amongst all those things that, that the music just kind of came about. And I had the musical idea, the, the, a, a, a small framework of it at least, pretty early on. It was almost immediately... And, and I went inside to figure it out. And believe it or not, I, I didn't write down any of my ideas. And I never do write down any of my ideas initially. Sometimes it's a really stupid idea, I'll admit. Other times I find it to be a really good idea, especially for choral music. I tend to like write my ideas down for like film scores and whatever like that, because sometimes those moments happen so quickly and you're like, oh, what was that? And you can't remember. So film scoring is a bit different, but for choral composing, I don't like writing my ideas down because I think my ability to remember specific ideas helps me weed out the bad ideas. So if I write something down and then a month later, I can't remember anything about it, it, it's, it wasn't memorable enough, in my opinion, uh, for it to be a thing. And that's just my perspective. There's a lot of other perspectives out there, but that's, that's my belief as a composer. And so this idea I had not written down at all. So a month passes and, and I, and I remember, I'm remembering that day and those feelings I was having. And, and I'm like, well, what was that idea again? And, and I remember some, a little bit of the words, couldn't remember much. And cause I didn't really flush that out. And all of a sudden the musical idea just came back to me right away. And in that moment I was like, this, this could potentially be a good idea. So from there you move forward and and that inspiration behind the music, why I explained about my personal nostalgia and, and all those deep thoughts about growing up and enjoying your time as a kid, I began trying to search for a poem that could fit that. And that was very difficult to do. I looked through and nothing was good enough. Nothing could capture what I wanted. And for a while I toyed around with just abandoning my nostalgia idea and just going with something else because I was too nervous about writing my own words. And then I thought, this idea I feel like is pretty unique and pretty special and something that I connect to. And whether other audiences will connect to it or not, that's up to them. But this is coming from my heart and what I'm feeling. And so I need to write this text. So I proceeded to try to write a poem. And yeah, I tried writing in, the, in my apartment. I tried sitting on my porch again in uh, to try to recreate the feelings and try to get in the mood because I, I need to be living in the story that I'm capturing. And none of those things were working because, well, when I was sitting outside on the porch, it wasn't a similar feel to that day. And and when I was inside, obviously, I couldn't feel anything about what I was feeling that day. There were so many beautiful moments to that day that connected to why I wanted to do this. So couple more, I would say a week passed by, maybe two weeks passed by, and today happened. And it was a 
freshman, sophomore, and junior drop off slash pick up day at at my high school that I teach at Waukesha West High School. And all of a sudden, the weather changed, and it I I recognized the feeling, and it felt like that day again. And in a matter of probably thirty minutes, of you know, in between helping people out that were driving by to pick up stuff and drop stuff off. I, I I had the poem and it was done and I couldn't believe how quick it happened and I, I really truly believe that it happened because I was in a similar setting as to where I felt my original idea in the first place. So, here we are. I thought I'd play a little bit of the idea for you and I hope that backstory in mind of the warmth of memories and the the atmosphere of the weather and the um, the almost the almost fantasy type of feeling that you get when you think about specific childhood memories. Maybe not all of them, but the ones that were really special, you get kind of that whimsical feeling within you that you you just live in that nostalgia for a while. So I hope that. This sound kind of captures that whimsical, warm breeze and and perhaps a little bitterness as well as to what it's all about. So here's what it'll be. It's going to be an acapella piece, but this is a working sound so far. So it's not, you know, it's not the final product. So it's just the piano. Here we go. I hope that explains my beginning process a little bit as to how I go about starting writing a piece of music for choir. And it's never the same, but I will always say that it always does truly come from moments that mean a lot personally to me, because that's the music that I feel like speaks the most to others out there. Thanks for listening. There's going to be more moments along the way that I will share about writing this piece of music. I'm not going to show you everything because that takes the excitement out of the final product, but moments that I can show, I, I will show, and hopefully they'll help anyone else out there that is interested in writing music. Have a great day. Happy writing to you all.